second violin canon. So this piece is not only one of my favorite, but also it's very famous and it's very, very beautiful. The piece itself goes very slow, but there's only a few things that I want to mention before we actually start. Look at here, measure 20. The TR with this line, ignore that. That's called trill, and I'll tell you how to play that later. That's going to take a while for you to be able to play that. So ignore that completely. And the other, um, everything else seems to be perfectly fine. The other thing that you have to look for is right here. Let me see if it's in the, on the camera as well. Yeah, this C sharp right here. That is, since the sh uh, there is a sharp in the key signature, that is not regular third finger, it is high third finger. We'll talk about it in a second. From the top of the piece, you have four measures of rest. Each measure gets four beats, and each beat is a quarter note. And the piece is very slow. So one, two, three, four, that's our speed. You have four measures of rest, and then you start, this is how it sounds and how slow it goes. One, two, one, two, one, so on. When you get to, obviously, the notes are just like D major scale. You have F sharp and C sharp. All the notes are natural except for Fs and C, unless you see a natural sign, which you do not see any natural sign. So any F and any C you, you see in this piece have to be sharp. On quarter notes, you do the F sharp, one, two, that's how the speed goes. It gets twice as fast each time. Do not do the slurs. This is one thing that I don't want you nor first violins do is to do the slurs. Because by doing the slurs, you're going to actually sacrifice your tone. And it would take a while until you can make the same tone with the same bow. But for now, I want you to make the same exact tone using separate bows so that the sound is rich and clear. Um, the next would be learning and feeling very, very comfortable with the notes on G string and E string. See guys, when we started, we learned the notes on D and A. E, F sharp, G, B, C sharp, D. You already know those. Now, I want you to learn the notes on G and E now. You already know it. Like when I ask you to name like second finger on G, third finger on A, you know it. But it's a matter of being able to reading it, read them, reading them from the page, on the page quickly enough, right? All of you can read, but some of you are slow on reading them. And once we start the piece, you don't have enough time to process the notes. Therefore, you would miss them, and we can't miss notes. So go over learning the notes again, the ones specifically on G string, G, A, B, C. Below the second ledger line, on the second ledger line, below the first, on the first. Here on E, E, F, G, A, different versions, of course, but this is fourth space, fifth line, above the fifth line, first ledger line, on the first ledger line. Later on, when you learn B, that would be above the first ledger line. So we'll learn those two. This one, the B. Make sure you know at least up to A very, very precisely well. So then by the time you see it in the music, you will be able to identify them, recognize them, and play it as quickly as you can. Starting with here, you see there's a dot. Dotted quarter notes, obviously, as you know, are one and a half beats. So you have one, one, one and a half, ta, t, 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 then you play all the sixteenth notes. This C is the first C you play on G string, that's high third. Now, as I've mentioned it before, you could either use high third or low fourth, but regardless of which finger you use, you have to use the white tape after the blue. So white tape after blue. 
try to use both fingers, experiment with both, not both at the same time, of course, experiment with both, either high third or low fourth to see which one would feel more natural to you. I would suggest trying with high third first so you understand that concept, that mechanism, normal third, high third. And then this is normal fourth, which is on orange, but low fourth would be on white. So yellow, red, blue, orange, and this is the white one between blue and orange, see? You could either go back to it from four or go up to it from three. The red one would go starting from measure 20, one and You to learn next fourth finger on E string, which is B. So learn up to A first with all the notes and review the notes on G string. After that, this is the last one you have to learn. That's the 17th note. Fourth on E, which is B. After this, you'll be perfectly fine to play the entire piece. The rest is very easy. There's another C that you get here to play as your high third. Once more, don't forget to practice not only daily, but also line by line, measure by measure. And after a while, it'll be a lot easier for you to learn the entire piece of music much quicker. Have fun practicing, guys.